is Taylor Cunningham. I'm a barista at the Celestial Seasonings Cafe at the Engineering Center at CU Boulder. It comes from several different sources and it's sometimes a juggling act just to balance all of it. Our coffee and things like coffee filters and our syrups all come from Scott, our coffee guy at Allegra Coffee. He comes and makes a delivery probably once a week or more frequently. So he's a pretty important vendor. And we have all of our milk that comes from, I don't remember what it's called, but it's a, it's a local dairy here. They're all organic. They bring all of our milk twice a week, Tuesday delivery and Friday delivery. They also bring our whipped cream and our half and half. Um, our soy milk and our almond milk are actually Hain Celestial products, so they're from our company. So those actually come just from our headquarters down the road. So all this candy you see on the cart, almost all that comes from Costco. Our, our manager lady will go to Costco and she buys all that stuff herself and brings it here to be sold. Um, we have a bunch of Coke products in the fridges. Those are all delivered by Coke probably about once a week as well. Basically, if we're running low on something, we will call our vendor. Sometimes we say, hey, we need an emergency. Shipment, can you bring some coffee today? Um, but usually we just kind of look at, okay, how much are we using? And then we place our order from there every week. It's, it's actually been kind of a struggle with our milk orders because previously we left it up to our milk delivery guy to choose and to gauge how much milk we needed each week and to fill our fridges and he made the order himself. When management turned over to my new manager, she wanted to be the one to say how much milk we needed. Well, it turns out now that she's taking control of that, we run out of milk really frequently. Sometimes, yeah, we just have to say, I'm sorry, I don't have whipped cream. People are really sad about it, but it happens. Sometimes we'll go to the store and buy whipped cream and bring it to the store if we have to. For an emergency, yeah. Sometimes we have trouble stocking the right flavors of tea that people want, and then that becomes a problem because people need that chai and they want that caffeine as well. Doesn't matter what we do, where we are going to. Definitely whenever we're in final season we sell a lot of Red Bull, which is actually we have our distributor come and he delivers the Red Bull here. Um, that's definitely something that influences it. Um, this warmer weather we're selling a lot of iced coffee, so we'll order more of our coarse blend early bird rose coffee for the cold coffee. Um, Italian sodas definitely spike up. And then also we offer a lot of seasonal items, so we'll have like mango and lime syrup for the summer that we're just starting to use right now. Most of our inventory is stored upstairs in our big storeroom. I think you guys had a chance to see that, and it's just basically, it's not a very big room at all, but it's packed full of all of our sodas, all of our coffee, all of our teas from Celestial Seasonings. Um, and then outside, kind of inside the hall, we have some shelving that holds just our dry goods, like our coffee filters, um, utensils, napkins, things like that. Perishables are all downstairs in the fridges, along here, along the wall, or, um, I mean, our danishes all get sold every day, but basically anything refrigerated is here downstairs. I would really like to see if we could have a second delivery from Spruce come in and maybe even if we could call in and tell them, hey, I have three chocolate croissants, please be me 20 more, and then we could sell those throughout the day, we could be making a lot more profit that way. So maybe if we break that into two deliveries and then get another one based on how much we have in the case. Mm -hmm.